Hey everybody, welcome back to Tyson Sainter Gamer. I'm your host Tyson. So, um, I'm going to do Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I've uh, heard a lot of great things about this game. Actually, um, yeah, that music is actually really captivating. I'm sorry to cut around it, but I have to. Um, sorry, so as I was saying, this is distracting. Um, as I was saying, I um, heard great things about this game from somebody on a program that I listen to, uh, or I watch rather, it's uh, Outside Extra, which is a sister channel to Outside Xbox, another channel which I watch a lot, uh, so I really enjoy their content. And uh, so Ellen Rose is a big fan of this game and uh, recommended it uh, over and over again, not directly to me of course, but her enthusiasm has informed my decision to play this game. And uh, I look forward to it, and I understand she's uh, recovering from something right now, at this moment in time. I believe still. So get get better, Alan. I hope. Uh, and uh, if you see this, <laughs> I just say. So if, if anybody else does see this, though, you know, if you like her program, wish her well. If you didn't know, it, but of course if you you know it because you'd be watching it anyway. I'm babbling. Let's start. I'm really curious. So anyway, yes, get well, Ellen. New game. All right, and let's see. Casual, normal, hard. Let's go with normal. I usually tend to go with medium or normal, I find. It has, on occasion, been a unwise decision. I guess. Uh, maybe things have been more difficult. Uh, but, you know, its I don't mind a bit of challenge. At all. And it's all relative anyway. So, I mean, you know, if I just keep doing stuff, I'll get better at it, so... Theoretically. Want to find all the secrets spread across the world of Amalur and make sure to invest... Uh, <laughs> From the beginning, we were warm, oh. and only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. Isn't it strange that way? We lived in harmony among the Fey, in a world awakened to new magic. Fairy Fey? Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide, what force might awaken. Of course, powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. Well, that's one way to get ahead in life. The new king of the Winter Court surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fae were not. Aggressive, yeah. ambitious, yeah. visionary. Really, not a single other one. Power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. I love the design, by the way. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Dé Sion, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. <laughs> in the name of that god. They marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Each two have fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fey do not feel death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? Darling. For ten years, the war raged. For ten years, the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Mm -hmm. Until you died. Oh. So I died. I died, did I? Did I die? I did. I did die. Died, I did. Which one of these am I? Which one? Ah, I'm the one that's still moving. But I thought I died. Wait, I'm about to. With a pack of tarot cards. Cool. What am I doing? Still dead, I imagine. What do you think this one is then? How far? Not Could even be in Jotun. Ooh. Always a surprise, eh, Grand? 
eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is, dead's dead. And be thankful for that, all we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Okay. Oh, I got it. Oh, choose gender. Let's see. The Al Almain are warlike and religious nation of storied origin. Many Almain came into the Feyland seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. Hmm. I may not read. Uh, no, I will read everything. I may not lead, leave every time I read in the final video, just so you know. You also might not see me say this. Ooh, the suspense. Uh, okay, so Almain, male or female. Yeah. Racial, bonu racial bonuses. Uh, persuasion, plus one. Alchemy, plus one. Blacksmithing, plus two. Okay. Okay. Uh, for any pirates, mercenaries, shrewd merchants, swords and daggers. I like that. Uh, Leoslfar. Ancient people, frozen lands. Uh, from the north. Wind sky. Eat heaven. Stagecraft. Stagecraft, sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, boy. Uh, sagecraft. Alchemy dispelling. Yeah, mercantile lock picking detect hidden. It's kind of cool. Uh, oh. The Kalfar are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly with grace or efficiency in, uh, efficiently in silence. Uh, plus two to stealth, plus one persuasion, and then sagecraft. Okay, so we have persuasion, which is a thing. Uh, alchemy blacksmithing locked into ten. Alchemy dispelling. Uh, I like. I don't know what sagecraft is. I do like the idea of being able to do stealth, but I feel like um, this is probably the wizard class. I don't know, by the way. I really like the idea of the pirate, though. Swords and daggers. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's the feel? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing that. I'm going to be a Varani female, or, yeah, I gotta have swords and daggers. Oh, and patron bonuses, okay, fire, water, okay, so sorry, Vraykor, got a fire and patron of the forge, Njordir, god of water, patron of fishing and sailing, uh, Tyrden, god of war, battle, and tactics. Death, Balin, God of Death, God of Death, God of Tea or Cake, when Death, Tea and Cake or Death, forget it. Uh, Lupoko, God of Mischief, Patient of Viewing, Six Poison Damage, Poison Resistance, Beholden to No God, None, Yourself Sufficiently Leads, we've got plus one to experience bonus. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's funny. Um, but it also makes me an atheist. God of Mischief is interesting. Do some poisoning. So it's a poison pirate. Uh, I don't know. It seems kind of like, like a kind of a, a trope. But then again, what's wrong with being a poison ivy or or uh, lizard woman from uh, uh, the Wolverine movie type character? Ice and fire. Fire resistance seems kind of just really formidable. You know what? Let's do poison. Why not? Reset one, pretty good. Reset two, better. Reset three, oh, okay, so I can rotate them. Uh, reset four, also very cool. Reset five, nifty. That's very interesting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, wow, this is deep. I don't know that I'm not happy with what I'm looking at right now. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, the hair. Oh, there's various hairstyles. I see. Well, again, I really kind of looked that one I had. I uh, liked that one, rather. Although... Ooh, short hair's nice. Is it green option? Did I just see that? I don't know what happened. Yeah, yeah, might as well do some red hair. Eyebrow color is it gonna be the same. If I line it up there. Yeah. Um, 
face, skin tone, eye color, eyeshadow color, no, eyeshadow, darkness, lipstick color, lips, lipstick intensity. I can't tell if that's more really more intense or not. Accessories, jewelry, tattoo. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, I kind of chose it because I like the tattoo I was looking at. Nope. nope. Color's good. Let's drag down the intensity just a tad. And yeah, let's keep the, I keep the jewelry. Okay, we're good. All right, let's go. Time to dig in, people. Some story and some gameplay. Must have followed a mercenary band over. Maybe one of them herself. Doesn't much matter now. Fared pretty well though. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. You know he wants all the details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name her, I think we're done. Put her with the others. Oh. Oh, I'll need a name, huh? Okay, well... I like Isolde, but I'm going to go with... Um... Capital... Uh... Tysolde. Oops. Uh... Boom. Tysolde. Yes. Yes. That is correct, folks. I do tend to put my name on every character that I make. On some form or another. I'm sorry, I'm one of those types of players. You should see some of the weird names I come up with. Sometimes it's not just my name. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Into the void, I recommit my body. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I want to see what's at the other side of this pit. Ooh, I was wrong. No, I was right. Oh, how'd she get under one? That doesn't matter. But she hit so hard that, like, it flopped one from the side and landed on top of her. Wow, yeah. Look at the stink lights. That's awesome. Must just be awful. Oh, and all the flies. Oh, dear. So, by the way, I do like a game with a nice long opening. I... I don't know, I don't think everybody appreciates that sort of thing. Um, I've been tempted to go back through some of my videos and cut them like down to 10 minute versions or 10 to 15 minute versions. Um, like a highlights or something, but I don't know. That doesn't seem to be much call for any of the things I'm doing. Well, people seem to like my Subnautica videos, so that's cool. So, I'm not really sure what's going Okay, now we're cut loose. We're in the world. Look at this. Oh, hello. We have bat-type things. Or seagulls. Move in the direction you want. I'm sorry, I'm looking around. Also, did I just come from that? Can I, can I see? Can I climb it? Okay. Well, also, don't know. I tried to jump by pressing A. I don't know if I can jump yet. Yeah, not yet. If any, if at all. All right, well, I guess I'll just walk forward. Really nice looking. Oh god, what was that? That was the ground shaking. Okay, well that's gonna happen. Find a way out. Okay, let's look over the edge here. Wow, that's neat. <laughs> it's a jeepers, that's neat. It's also keen, by the way. Okay, something sparkly. I should probably I gravitate towards it. Oh, something. Oh, that's me. I was just I started looking at the mini map indicator thing, and I thought that um doesn't matter. Pick up disposal notes. Oh boy. Okay. Secrecy is still important in our work, requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been added to deal with wastes. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, although you should avoid drinking water from downstream the ash dumps. Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. Mm -hmm. Well, let's take that. Why not? Okay. And I can see there's something on my map, but I'm going in a different direction from it. I'm just kind of... 
Oh, I just walked around something, but I also missed whatever that was that, uh, so let's go this way. Okay. What is that? Ooh, loot, rusty sword. Yes, please. <laughs> please give me a rusty sword. I'm requiring a new item. To see a new item, press start. Hmm. Inventory. Okay. Inventory action. Process an A. Inventory. Weapons. Yes. Primary. Rusty long sword. Oh. Heck yeah. Seven physical damage, two piercing damage. All right. Congratulations. Your weapon is now equipped. Press start to return to the game. You got it. Oh. But didn't I just... Did I just walk... Okay. There's an area over here. What's this? Loot skeleton. Six gold. That's it. And then nothingness. Well, actually, it looks like there's a ledge down there. But I think I'm being led in a particular direction, so I'm going to do that instead. By the way, this thing moves... This thing, this game character moves pretty swiftly through here. Pull the lever. Should I? Well, of course. I mean, how are you going to put a lever in front of me? And Oh, I see. I have a feeling... I'm going to see a disposal. Alright. Yep. Yeah. Well, that, re that worked remarkably well. It also worked remarkably well. Alright, here we go. All over what? Oh, it's like cobalt or something. It's hard to tell it. Oh dear, there's Tuatha. I don't know, I'd say there's at least ten Watha. Yes, there's probably going to be plenty of dad jokes in this video, but what do you want from me? I'm a dad. And by the way, I've always told dad jokes even before I was a dad. I just, they weren't called that then. They're just called jokes. What is that? What, rather, what are those? Okay. Um, let's see. Ooh, I've got a block stance. What is that? Really? Does that work? And if I do the other trigger, okay. What if I do A? No, and X. Okay, you know, I could just could just walk past these guys. Maybe they wouldn't notice. It's pretty gnarly. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah. Wow. Okay, and I did take a little bit of damage there, but, um... I'm more surprised it works so well. Stay away. Stay away from who? What happened? Who? What? Is there somebody over here? Hello? There is somebody over there. Okay, so I can... Okay, what's the Y button do? Nothing yet? B? Oh! Hello! Let's do that. Are, are these barrels like this? Oh, good, there's, well, okay. They're destructible, but it doesn't appear to be anything in them. Oh, that's not true. Okay, well, <laughs> shut my mouth. I, I guess I'll just keep smashing barrels. Now I feel like I should go back and look and see if there are barrels I missed smashing. But you know what? I, I'm not that committed to the idea of it. Yes, um, help is on the way, dearie. Yeah, except, first I'm going to get distracted by this invisible wall. Alright, ooh, and this nice green, lovely green thing. Hello? Help. Up there, please help me. Oh. Please. To dodge, move, le uh, move left stick. Move left stick in the direction you want to go and press B. Oops, okay. I see. I've got an attack pattern. Sort of. Oh, okay. Loot to out the soldier. Take all. 
Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I need to get some author. You, you were dead and burnt by the Tobin world. You're alive. What happened to me? Did I not select that? What happened to me? You don't the say. Stored you soul to your body and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. I can have questions for you. Totally. That's what I need right now is... You know what? I have some questions myself. Alright. Well, no doubt. But we must get to Hughes. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. But you offer coming in through the lower levels. If we had him, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They won't keep you safe long enough to get to choose. Now let's get going. Okay. Um, uh, 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 oh, receive minor healing push, okay? Death, well of souls. Uh, death, attackers. Yeah, you bet. Um, well, souls? Well, of souls is just ahead, you'll see. And, and it works. It restored you to life. Great, do I respond there? Let your time to explain later. We've got to get going. <sighs> Where is Hughes? He'll be in his study on the ground okay. floor of the tower. Okay, he's, yeah. I hope he's there. Yeah. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. Mm -hmm. Just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. Oh, of course not. Okay, goodbye. Let me get this call, and we can be on our way. Okay, well, let's... Okay, let's loot the chest. Take off. Um, is there... Did I miss anything around here that I could be looting? Hi, Ansel. Hi, Don't want to miss a thing. Don't want to close my eyes. Don't want to fall asleep. Hey, 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 all right. You mind if I just trash everything here, buddy? Oh, so that means these things are. Oh, well, then I should be able to. Yeah? Oh, okay, nothing. Mm. Well, you know, it's not all going to be something. Boy, that's really going to make me just want to smash everything I see, too. All right, so let's see. Inventory. No, I'm sorry. Inventory. Mm. Armor. Tattered shirts. Uh, we can get regulated old boots. What? Unequip? Yes, but where's... Okay. How do I find what else I have? Oh, dear. Old boots give me something to walk on. Legs, ragged leggings, worn legs. Oh, I see, okay. But I only have the tattered shirt. Okay, that's fine. So now I've got some, um, add junk. I gotta leave the shirt, or take the shirt. I gotta have the shirt. Um, back. Items? Disposal notes? Um, do I have other weapons? Primary, anything secondary? No. So, I got some armor. It's interesting. Alright. Okay, so, uh, let's find that other dead guy. There we go. Ooh. There's some armor. And that's it. Okay, well, then let's get that armor on. We got battered armor. Yes. Interesting. Not what I expected. I'll tell you, that works. Let's add that to junk. So I've got plus five critical hit, plus five critical hit, 
plus 12 critical hit. So I've already got good amount of potential critical hit damage. Cool. And let's save that there. Yes. I played for 25 minutes. I've done hardly anything. This is the man after our greatest invention. The wet. The wet. Well of souls? Yeah. Cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my, that's some Shang Tsung stuff going on there. Your soul is mine. And your soul and your soul. Ooh. Oh dear. Um, okay. Seems like there's some heavy stuff going on now. What's this? Person? No. The sound is amazing. Sorry, the sounds are amazing. What a beautiful environment. Pulling lever. It's nice how you just put away your weapon when you're not using it. I like that. Wow. This strategy of just beating the crap out of everything is really, uh, working for me. Flimsy Greaves. Uh, flimsy Greaves is the word. The word that you heard. I hope I can't accidentally hit Incel because I feel like it's going to happen a lot. Depending on how long he's with me. For, I don't know. By the way. Yeah, inventory. Okay. Never mind. No, by the way. Crude Iron Kite Shield. Iron Kite Shield? Uh, shields are try equipping. Oh, yeah, I gotta equip that. Okay. Also, let me look at my consumables real quick here. So I've got four minor, minor healing potions. That's it. Okay. That's fine. Uh, I got five lockpick. Okay. I see. And I was just checking. So let's see. Torn gloves. Ooh, I get gloves. Let's. Uh, okay. Worn lengthy, flimsy greaves. Greaves on uh, feet. Melee block. Efficacy. Oh, is that okay? So that's what the trigger thing was. Okay. I like having a critical hit damage though, so let's do that. Um, oh, but I got to equip the shield, don't I? Or do I? No, it's in. It's not an armor. Is it weapon? Secondary. Shield. Oh, it's at the bottom. Of course. Uh, blocks six damage. Warren shield, a very cool quality. Well, let's, let's equip that. Yeah. There we go. Wait. Do you hear something? I Oh Want to what Which one had a bow? I don't see any... I don't see a bow, dude. Okay. Die, okay. I just... Oh, is it's just... Is it... Where, where, oh, I don't... I don't understand. Do I just have it in my inventory now? This is problematic. I need to know what I've got going on here. Let's save. Uh, okay. 
trying to get used to this map, or this, uh, uh, not map, but this, uh, thing. Oh, what's that? There it is. Required a longbow. Press, uh, start to learn how to equip it as a secondary weapon. You got it. Primary. Yes. Secondary. Crude birch longbow. Okay. I equipped it. Alright. So, okay, let's look over here. <laughs> What's that? A god seek your sacrifice? What the? What are you, what are you talking about, man? How do I do that? Use your secondary weapon, press Y. Oh dear. Oh! Okay, well, too late. Well, I could have gone better. Did I get everything in here? I feel like I didn't get everything in here. Yeah, I didn't get everything in there. Ooh, that was a... I wonder if I can run off the edge. But I don't wonder enough to try it out. Oh, how did I miss that? I almost missed that. Alright. At some point, I, I, I imagine I'm going to be escaping from this area. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. Uh, unleash a powerful range shot, press and hold. Why? Okay. Oh. Cool. It's very satisfying. Do my arrows just regenerate? Is that a thing? Jump down to there. All right, you know, let's. Yes. All right. Well. Is this all. Nope. Okay. So I must reposition the camera. Like if I go around like this. Okay. Never mind. Dagger is a special kind of weapon preferred by rogues. Try equipping them now. You got it. Any secondary? Crude iron daggers. Water okay? Oh, all right, all right, I can't go into the water. How do I sneak? Uh, right. Ooh, right. Bumper, danger stealth mode. Cool. Oh, I see something. Thank <laughs> you. 
That could have gone better. Uh huh. That could have gone better. That's all right. Uh oh. I can't jump down from there, huh? Looks like I can go the other way, though. So yeah, have any of you played uh, this game? Kingdoms of Amalur? Let me know in the comments. Ooh. Ooh. That's... Probably. A press and hold right trigger to access your abilities. Then press X to use your Stormbolt ability. Wow, I just have more and more attacks uh, becoming known to me. Also, what did I attack? Did I attack that thing? Apparently I did. Oh, that looks like a spider. Can I let it out? I'll probably see it soon enough. Oh, regarding the spiders. <laughs> Hughes, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his Petronian, Pet 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 mm, sorry, Praetorians, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value that my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to this successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness in joints and tightening of skin symptoms, which suggests a possible solution for the internal cohesion problems of some of the Wells' creations. I would have studied these symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards will fully and flagrantly disobey my orders to, to delay application of antitoxins. As such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately. For my steadfast pursuit of knowledge, I require no medal, no medal nor promotion. Uh, all I would ask is that you please reassign me off, off subject disposal detail. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So I see spider, singular. Loot chest. Ooh, lots of stuff. Minor mum. Oh, wait, what? So, I see a closed cage there, and what looks like an open cage here, which makes me think there's a spider nearby that I cannot see. I'm looking at the ceiling. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll figure it out before too long. Okay, I'm not sure. Speaking of Alan Rose, once again, thank you, by the way, Alan, you're right, this is a marvelous looking game. It's playing cool so far. I, I look forward to playing much of this in the future. Uh, oh, okay. I, I'm curious how you do with this part. Oh, no. Okay. So yeah, okay, so my mana goes up after a while. It is really neat that these things are opening and whatnot. That is so cool looking. Ooh, I have a staff. Uh, try equipping it now. Sure, yeah. It's just, just running me through the whole... Uh, um, ooh, it's got nine fire damage. What? Yes, please. I just unquipped it. Unequipped it and we could. Ooh! Okay. Yes. Well. Maybe I can! It's funny. Do I just have to hit it? I do. That. That. That was easier than I expected.
Kill it with fire! Keep getting experience points. I I, I uh, guess that I'm going to be leveling up at some point. Oh, what's this? Loot spider sack. Oh, I didn't see what was in it. What did I just pull out of that? Items. Bones. Did that did that come out? Did, is that was that literally what I? Okay. Wow. Um, and a skull. Okay. Spider memo. Yeah, yeah. I like that. All right, still got minor healing potions and mana potions, and I got serpent venom. Okay, but my you know my health and stuff aren't terrible yet, so I'll wait. Oh, and also let's re-equip that bow if I can. No, no, no. Oh, the daggers are on the same. What? Oh, I see the daggers can go in primary or secondary. <sighs> cool. Not what I expected. Let's just load this up. Giant spider. Boom. Ooh, nothing much there. I'm hurrying. Oh, what's this? Is this? Oh, never mind. Cool. And my man is fully restored now. Man, 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 man. Is. I could fight with you. I need more help. There's nothing more I can do except to stay here and slow down the tour. Okay. This is the armory after all. Check the chests. We might have a few things that would fit you. With luck, I'll see you on the outside. Okay. I'll see you on the outside. If fate wins it. Right. Hey, Claude. The scholars are soft. Really? Let's un uh, equip. Let's go to uh, daggers. That's pretty good. Because there's so many of you to talk to. I'm just taking everything. Okay, and inventory. Armor. Okay, so let's see. 12. Uh, dented Kiras. Dented Kiras. Melee block, melee block. 12, 12. It's the same for battered armor, battered armor. Dented Kiras. All right. I am wearing better armor. Torn robes. I have many torn robes. <laughs> torn gloves or... Ooh, melee black efficiency. Let's do rusty gauntlets. I think. Yeah, might as well. 
Do I see leg plate? I see leg plate. Worn leggings, worn leggings. Uh, okay. Uh, I kind of like the critical hit damage, but you know what? I should probably get some more blocking going on. So actually, you know what? Also, no, I, I like that 12% there. I'm going to keep that up. Um, flimsy greaves, old boots, old shoes, 10% mana regen per second. Really? That could be good. Daily block. Oh, okay. Let's do these. And the shield is the same shield, so yeah, cool. Weapons, what do I got here? Crude iron daggers, crude iron daggers. Crude birch staff, and I got a rusty long sword. So basically I just got the same stuff. I'll go with the daggers right now, and then the secondary I've got Crude Birch Staff as a secretary, a second, a secretary, secondary. Crude Birch Longo, Long, Longo. Sorry, getting tired, folks. All right, it's good. All right, well, let's press on. We'll get to the next part, and then we'll call it good for the episode. What's this stuff falling in? What? You get a better view of your surrounding by clicking right stick. That's pretty cool. That is badass. Alright, let's go. Can I just jump into that? Well progress. Okay. Well progress log. I thought it said list for a second. Exp Experiments are now successfully recreating bodies 97.5% of the time. Any missing limbs or extra fingers is now probably how the original subject looked rather than a magical flux on our end. However, full revivification still eludes us. Even with increased testing, products are nothing more than inert lumps of skin and bone. <laughs> Although the occasional spasm of twitch does allow hope of full success in the future. I know some of you complain that we should use cadavers and skip the corpses, uh, corpse recreation altogether, but you must know we'd never be allowed to experiment with a subject's actual body. We may be working to recreate life, but that hardly allows us to, des des <laughs> to desecrate the dead. Any further complaints can be brought to me directly uh, for Morris Hughes. <laughs> I mean, that's the kind of thing I really easily could have missed if I wasn't looking for things to, to find. Looking for things to find. Tonight on Unsolved Mysteries, looking for things to find. It's a tough note to hit. Seek out every lost stone you can in addition to finding. All right. Yeah, let's do it. going on? You must to explain right now. The dwarf had come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. Mm. I may not be able to save the well, but I can ensure that its only success is safe. Okay. Uh, I'll stay and fight. Absolutely not. I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... you're... 
Fascinating. Simply astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Uh, yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure... Perhaps I should go see. Sir! Sir! Mr. Hughes! The dwarf that brings the lab! Not inside the mouth! Uh-oh. No! We've got to get you out of here now! Quickly! Oh dear. Follow the path to the town of Gore. Go ahead. Argoth. Garkoff or Gorfoff? We'll go find him. Ooh. I can't go the way you? Wait, escape. Alistair Tower. Ta Crowley. Alistair Tower. Okay. Escaping the tower. Escaping the tower. Looking for other stuff to pick up on the way out of the tower, but still escaping it. Escaping it, yes. Must escape. Oh. Okay. Open up. Open up. All right. Uh, want to move fast? Press A while running and toggle sprint. Oh, cool! Sorry, moves along in a oop, pretty good clip. Oh dear. So they're create causing the earthquake? I don't understand. Oh, there's one. I was supposed to try to do a stealth thing, but I completely forgot about trying to do that. Anyway, so I guess RB toggles stealth, so that's cool. I didn't even see what all that was. So I'm still getting used to the controls. Uh, we're not the controls, the... Um, thing. Oh, I see something big. Something that might require uh, a different type of uh, weapon. Primary. I do have the crude iron daggers. It's for physical piercing. Rusty's longsword has, is better with physical. So I have to do that. Oh, actually, wait. Crude Birch Staff. Nine fire, eight burning damage over three seconds. Let's try that. And if this guy isn't uh, the flammable sort, then I will resort to something else. And you know I keep the Birch Longbow, so let's hit him with at least an arrow. <laughs> and you know, actually, I don't know if this... Let's save, I suppose, before I get too involved in this fight. Because I don't know how far back I'll have to go if I don't. All right. So, going in. Oh, well, so much for... Dear, rock troll. I have a rock troll. I feel like a rock troll won't be... Yeah, it, it resists fire, won't it? Okay, well let's uh, get a different armor. Or a different weapon. Let's go with the rusty longsword. Secondary is... Let's put the crude iron... Well, Oh 
kind of bad. Well, I guess it had to be done. In a cool way. Lootless. Squire's Ring, Gold Clones, Cloudy Protection Shard, Minor Venom Guard. Critters. I've acquired a shard. Shards are used for sage crafting and can be used to craft powerful gems. Cool. Alright, let's see here. Accessories. Squire Ring. It's equipped, isn't it? Uh, Simple Venom Coffer and with Magic. Plus five to health. Uh huh. All that stuff. Cool. A bag. A bag of crystalline shards. Nifty. And a couple of repair kits. Yeah. Okay. Did I miss anything? Like any. Any chests or okay? So I have four arrows, and then they resup automatically resupply. Sorry, five, but they will, and I'm not out of arrows anymore. That's interesting. So I'm now I'm going to Alistair Glade. It looks like, and also it's shaking. Addition of your weapon and armor will degrade over time through use, eventually becoming useless. Visit a blacksmith to use a repair kit to keep your equipment in good condition. Interesting. Good to know. Stuff degrades. I uh, just barely made it out of there. Okay. Well, that's pretty. Look at all that. All right, looks like a good place to leave this episode, so thank you for watching. Please go to www.tysonsaner.com to find links to Antisocial Show, Game Me Outside My Comfort Zone, and Succotash the Comedy Soundcast Soundcast. For Succotash, you can also go to www.succotashshow.com, and for Game Me Outside My Comfort Zone, you can go directly to the YouTube channel SexyLaura27Games. <clears throat> so yeah, this is a great game. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing more of this. Thank you very much, Ellen, for uh, for being so enthusiastic about this game and piquing my interest that I finally caved in and bought it uh, to play. Uh, I imagine I'm going to be playing a great deal of this. Um, so yeah, you know, get well soon. Uh, hopefully you're already well, and um, I look forward to seeing you on the show of the week and all the other videos that everybody does. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, be decent to each other, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.